Hello and welcome to another Naughty Egg Draw. I'm Jake and today we're going to be doing a video that's going to be part of a four part series. The first one is going to be how to create an animatic. Before we get started, I want to go over what an animatic is. So an animatic is an animation where you're not focusing on drawing every single frame. Instead, you're finding the major parts that happen and focusing on those key parts only. You can kind of think of this as your spot between your storyboard and your actual animation. Now this is a very important process for 2D, 3D, and video work you may be working on. What this process is good for is getting down timing for each section or shot. Think of it this way. Every commercial, TV show, cartoon, or movie that you've ever seen has used this process before. They do this so they can get all of their stuff figured out beforehand instead of blowing all their money on their final product and then later having to go back and either reshoot or recreate what they already did the first time. And that just ends up costing you a lot more money and a lot more time that you may not have. All right, getting the history out of the way on what an animatic is, let's get started, guys. So I started off with making a quick sketch in Photoshop with how I wanted the characters to look, and then I'm gonna copy and paste it into my scene and animate. This really helps me get a very consistent look on how the characters are gonna be throughout the animatic. That being said, the animatic can be a bit looser, but you don't wanna spend more than maybe one, two minutes on each drawing. But this will help you keep your proportions similar as you go along and it'll make the cleanup and the later animations a bit easier. Now I'm creating a new layer where the audio will sit in throughout your animation. Now I won't use this audio that I export from this file because it can get a bit fuzzy at times. So I'll only be using this as a guide so when I put it into Premiere later, I know where the audio should sync up with. So I'm not sure quite how long the audio is in this. So I'm just adding frames to find where the end of the audio clip is. And there we are. So I'm gonna add a keyframe here to end it. And then I'm just going to delete the rest of the frames that are in the scene right now for the audio. Next, I'm gonna add another layer. Um, so it's good to name your layers. This one's the audio layer. The one above it is the reference layer. And the top one is going to be where the animatic is being drawn on. Now a lot of times with my reference file, I like to turn it into a symbol. That way I can change the alpha at any time and throw it right back in because it stays in my library as a symbol. So I can throw it in at any moment if I feel like my proportions are getting off. Now with all of that prepped, I can actually start doing the animatic. So I'm going to start with the paintbrush tool and make sure my pressure sensitive is on so I can get tapered lines. And I just start going over this first image here. Now this first one, I'm gonna make a little bit cleaner. I'm gonna take a little bit more time on it uh, because with this animation, there's not gonna be a whole lot of movement. A lot of it's gonna be based more on facial expressions to convey the idea. So this first one's kind of crucial to make sure the proportions are staying similar throughout the rest of the animatic. One thing I forgot to mention with the audio file is you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's on stream. So you're gonna click on the audio file and then go over and make sure in the properties that it's saying stream. That way when you uh, scrub over the animation, it's playing as you scrub it. Uh, so you know where you're going to put your next frames um, when things change. All right, so now that I've finished that first frame, I'm gonna be able to move to the next one. So I'm gonna scrub through here and figure out where he speaks again, uh, which is gonna be just a little further back. Add a keyframe there. So this is now the second drawing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take the lasso and keep the head, because the head's gonna be similar shape. There's no squashing or stretching that's happening here. So I'm gonna copy that and delete the rest of it. And then Control, Shift, V and it'll paste it right back into the normal spot. Move it forward just a bit because you're gonna be leaning in and telling tales something. 
and this is the rest of this process is going to be very similar um, so with this now the body is changing so you, you know you don't want to keep the body in a perfectly round shape like he was before uh, I'm gonna be you know adding some wrinkle marks when you bend over obviously your body isn't gonna be exactly the same as it is when you're standing straight up other than that the rest of this process is gonna be very similar I'll I'm gonna hop in here and there and kind of tell you some tips and tricks when I'm doing certain things So I just want to talk about um, the style of animation I'm working on right now. Like I said, a lot of this is going to be focused a lot on the facial expressions, but that doesn't mean that you can't get a little creative with the, you know, not just the faces, but with the body language as well. So this section, I'm going to kind of make him standing kind of like um, uh, Ed from Ed, Ed and Eddie, kind of slouched backwards, arms kind of flopped back a bit. And just kind of make him a little goofier looking. Like he's just waiting to tell this stupid joke that he's going to tell Tails. Now I just want to throw in again. Remember that with the animatic you're not drawing every single frame. You're just drawing your main areas that are going to be animated. And that are changing. Because this is going to really help you uh, get a really good sense of what you're going to be working on later. When you start working on your actual animations. And it helps you set up your keyframes and all that kind of stuff. So I am finished with all the frames I want to do for Sonic. Now I'm going to move over and work on Tails. I like to work on one character at a time. A lot of times when I'm doing animatic, depending on how simplistic it is, I find it easier when it's actually simple to do one character at a time. There's only two on the scene the entire animation. So working on one at a time and really getting a concrete idea of how that character is going to be throughout the entire thing is more effective for me. Not saying that's the only way you can do it, that's just the way I like to work on it. So with Tails, the Tails is going to be really simple. He's just going to essentially be floating up and down throughout the entire animation and he's going to have one quick line, look at Sonic and think he's an idiot and essentially just float off stage. So with that being said, I will see you guys at the end. I'm going to speed it up here again and I will have a couple comments at the end to kind of wrap up everything. Alright, enjoy.
so I'm just starting to wrap up the rest of this animatic and I just kind of want to quickly go over what this video is meant to teach you. So we learn what an animatic is. It's a quicker animation that is used as a preliminary process before you begin your animation. You can look at it as the step between a storyboard and your final animation. I also went over adding a piece of audio to your animation and to make sure it's set to stream so you're always able to hear the animation as you scrub through it so you know where your next keyframe is going to be. And the biggest thing I want to emphasize is your pace for each of the drawings. Try to keep each drawing around one to three minutes a piece because again, this is just here to help you with your final product. This isn't actually your final piece itself. All right, so we're done with everything. Let's see how everything went together. Hey Tails, have you heard from Knuckles lately? Uh, no. Then maybe we should give him a ring. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click on that sub button over here on the left or down below. If you want to enjoy some other videos of mine, make sure you click on them over here on the right. Also, make sure you throw a comment and a thumbs up down below. And like always, keep drawing, and until next time.